Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 26 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about capacitance, dial electrics, electric energy storage. So we look at this system. It tells us there are three conducting plants. Each of them has an area A. And then they are separated by D1 and D2, right? And the first part are the two capacitors connected in series or parallel. So we can see we can see the power between these two points is V. And the that means from this side to this side, or we can see from the, this side, this is the potential difference V. Do you agree? Yes, because this the potential at this point equal to this point. The potential at this point equal to this point and also equal to this point. So the um, can the potential difference for for the this uh, capacitor C two we can say it's C two right C two is V, and also we can say this point equal to this point, right? The the potential of this point equal to this point, and also the potential of this point equal to this point. Right, you can follow this line goes to there, and it goes to there equal to this potential, and also equal to this potential. Right, so this two point, the potential difference between this two point equal to the potential difference between this two point, still v. Right, this is the c one. See the potential difference for the c one and c two equals. That means this is just a parallel connection. Right, parallel connection. Now for power connection, can you determine the equivalent uh de determine the equivalent capacitance C as a function of D1 and D2? Yes. For the power connection, the equivalent capacitance C equal to C1 plus C2, right? C1 plus C2. By definition, C1 is used the epsilon naught A over D1, C2 is epsilon naught. A over D2, you input C1 and C2 inside, you get function C at zero. The third one tells you the middle plants can be moved. So that means this uh, plant can be moved. Uh, but the D1 plus D2 is a constant, right? Because this one and this one cannot move. So this uh, D1 plus D2 is constant. We consider this constant as L. Okay. And then Ask you what are the minimum and maximum value for the uh, net capacitance. This is uh, what is a maximum uh, and minimum values for this C. We can say C is a function for D1 and D2. Uh, agree? And we know D1 plus D2 is L. Uh, so we can write the variable D2 as L minus L D1. L is a constant. So we input the L inside. We can get the function for the C function as a C as the equivalent capacitance as a function for D1. Agree? Yes. So we look at this function. For the maximum, that means if the D1 if the L just if the D1 just uh, equal to L, C will comes to infinity. So the C maximum is uh, infinity, right? Because the D1 can uh, almost lay equal to L, that means uh, we move this uh, middle plants to the bottom plants, right? So this uh, C max can go turns to infinity. If we want to find the minimum for this C, we can do the derivation. So from this function, we can see this is a function for C. This is variables. So we do the derivation DC with D, D1, right? And then do this uh, derivation, we get a function look like this one. If the derivation equals to zero, that means the L equal to two D1, D1 equal to L over two, we can get the minimum capacitance. See, that means at this case, D1 equal to L over two, we can get the minimum capacitance. Input D1 inside, we get a function look like this one, right? Input L inside, you get answer there. Thank you.